Hello, GCA families. It's Palmer Birch, your chaplain. I hope everybody had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I'm here once again to officially resume chapel now that the break is over. From this time forward, I am again accepting people who wish to have their Proverbs Chapel speeches uploaded to the GCA YouTube channel. So please contact me if you are interested. You will find my email address in the parent post sent every week by the GCA committee. Now, with the new year coming into full swing, I know that everybody is making their own resolutions for how to do better in 2023. I respect anyone who wants to improve their lives this year. If you want to make New Year's resolutions, go right on ahead. I encourage you to do so. However, we have to remember that God is in full control of our lives. Proverbs 16.9 says, The heart of man plans his way, but the Lord establishes his steps. So you may make your plans now, but what you will actually end up doing in this new year of 2023 depends on God's plan for your life. God may allow things to not go according to your original plan for your good and his glory. God's plans matter the most, not your own plans. That's actually a really good thing because God alone knows what is best for you as I said in my last chapel video back in December. For example, I'm about to graduate from GCA this coming spring, and I have some plans as to where I want to go to college next fall. This is something I feel very strongly about, but I am aware that my plans could change at any time. And if they do, I will need to trust that God knows what is best for me. Proverbs 27.1 states, Do not boast about tomorrow, for you do not know what a day might bring. We are not guaranteed that we will be successful or even live on this earth another day. Your whole life is in God's hands. James 4.15 tells us the following. Instead, you ought to say, If the Lord wills, we will live and do this or that. And don't just add, if the Lord wills, to the beginning of every sentence. You need to actually believe it in your heart, because it's true. With all that being said, welcome back to GCA and to Virtual Chapel. I look forward to seeing you all soon. God bless.